guys so today I am coming to you from my bed this is just the comfiest place in my room to film so that is what I'm doing today I have sweatpants on before we get into today's video I wanted to give you guys the biggest thank you and like virtual hug in the entire universe because on Saturday night I reached a million subscribers on this channel and I am so 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 happy I just uploaded a vlog reacting to hitting 1 million and there was a few other things in the vlog too I'll link that in the description box if you want to see that but you guys are absolutely so amazing I have a special video that I am working on the concept and everything like that it's gonna take probably a little while to do but a special video to share with you guys kind of in honor of that and just something a little bit different so I'll be looking out for that soon today's video is going to be one that I have been excited to do and I'm finally ready to do it because if you guys didn't know I finished up at FITM or the college that I went to about two weeks ago and today I'm going to be doing a video on my college experience and my FITM experience in general let's see if we can get to 15,000 thumbs up on this video you guys that would be so 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 awesome it would mean the absolute world to me you should know before this video that this is obviously as the title says my experience so I can't say for other majors or what college is gonna be like in general for everyone because this is just the college that I went to and the major that I did and all of that but I am so excited to share this video with you guys because so many of you asked me about FITM. If you're deciding if you should go to school or deciding what school or looking into FITM, I really hope this will be helpful to you guys. And if not, I just hope it will be an enjoyable video. Let's go ahead and get into it. As for some of the basics, FITM stands for the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, and it is a private specialized school. They have four locations all throughout California. Orange County, Los Angeles, this is the campus that I went to, San Diego, and San Francisco. Although the LA campus is definitely the biggest and like the hub campus, but they do have four campuses. At FITM, you can receive an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree. I received an associate's degree because that's what my program was. Beauty, industry, merchandising, and marketing was my major. The cool thing about FITM and why it's so specialized is because you kind of pretty much go right into your major. You don't have a typical four or five year college experience where you're taking you know just random classes for the first two years you do have to take some general eds but it is a lot more specialized and you can finish an associate's degree program at FITM some majors I believe can finish in 18 months but really it's designed as like a two-year type program as I said you can also get your bachelor's degree at FITM after or if you already have an associates you can do that there as well now FITM is not your typical college experience at all there are no dorms there's no Greek life there's no like meal plans it's not it's very independent also FITM runs on this thing called the quarter system which is completely different than like semesters or trimesters basically we have our classes for 10 weeks and then there's like a three-week break in between and you do that year round and I think I actually really liked the quarter system better than any schooling that I had ever had because if you didn't like a class so much or a class was super hard you only had it for 10 weeks however another weird thing is class times are long our class times are almost three hours it's like two hours and 45 minutes and 15 minutes of that you have a break so it's really a two and a half hour of sitting in every single class and sometimes you have two or three classes in one day so it is kind of a lot but as I said you do finish it in that 10 weeks some classes you might even have five weeks at FITM and it's a six hour class which is a lot but those are just a few random classes now something to keep in mind if you are planning on applying to FITM or going and you might not be going to the LA campus straight on I know that girls in my major hat that came from the other campuses had to finish their classes at the LA campus because I don't think all majors and classes are offered at every of the four campuses so if you are strongly considering FITM make sure you know if you're gonna have to come to the LA campus or not to finish off your classes because you know that's a big deal if you're coming from like six hours away in San Francisco or something like that super quick as for like applying and getting in it really in my opinion I don't think it's difficult I really really do think that most of you guys if you were interested could get into FITM it's not that hard I took a lot of really hard classes in high school and I really didn't need to for the school that I went to it was more about like the work that you did and the creativity that you have than like 
um, the straight A's and the AP's that you took so don't like stress about that it's not very hard to get in and the application process is pretty easy I don't feel like I need to go through all of the application process but um, something you should know is FITM housing because I did that the first 10 weeks there is student housing there's not dorms but you can live basically in apartments that are like downtown or close to the school I personally wouldn't recommend student housing just from my experience because it ended up being very very overpriced it's really expensive for like just a quarter and you are sharing a room and the apartments are okay but you could definitely find nicer on your own probably for cheaper too so if you really really want to do it and you know like meet some roommates or meet some friends I think that would be good for the first quarter but I don't really think you should stick with it after that because it's super overpriced in my opinion also I will get into this more when I talk about my major but FITM is a pretty expensive school it is private and it is pretty pricey just so you know that in advance lastly before I get into my major to leave you with any like last FITM basics it's just basically a very independent as I said different type of school for a person that really just wants to go straight into their major you know you're not wanting that full college experience because that's not what you're gonna get at FITM a lot of people that went actually are a lot older and they've already like had a degree or had that college experience or deciding this is what I really want to do in my life now no dorms no Greek life no really sports no no meal plan none of that so definitely know that but I didn't really miss out on having any of that stuff really now I will get into my major and my whole FITM experience. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of like background. But my major was beauty industry merchandising and marketing and basically I was dying to go to FITM and why I picked that major is because it is literally the only school in the country besides FIT in New York that has a major like that but FITs you have to already have an associate's degree so it was really the only school for the major that I was really interested in I got to learn all about the business behind the beauty industry and I didn't want to go to beauty school because that's not what I'm trying to do I was just really wanting to learn the business about the whole cosmetic fragrance beauty industry and I really did get that at FITM so it's a very very specialized small major there was maybe like 30 something girls in the major yeah something around there maybe 40 tops so very small I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys tuition prices because I know that so many of you are interested in that you can find this information on FITM's website but basically including like book fees and everything like that each year tuition for my major which keep in mind it's two years not four years it's about thirty thousand dollars so your entire degree is gonna cost you about sixty thousand dollars without any financial aid or anything like that which is very very expensive so just keep that in mind um, you can look up any of the majors and their tuition costs on the FITM website which I will have that linked in the description box and also as I said I received an associate's degree it's actually an associates of arts degree and that is 90 total units 45 units for each of the two years now this is something that is probably the most important part of this video that I wish somebody had told me if I had been watching a video like this before I started with this major and that is that you are not gonna start your beauty classes until the second year and they really don't inform you of that and it was a little bit frustrating because you are taking general ed classes that whole first year before you get into beauty while a lot of the other majors go straight on first quarter they have some like fashion design classes or classes in their major but beauty for some reason is just kind of weird you do all your beauty classes the second year so definitely keep that in mind if you're considering my same major you definitely take some math and some like art history and random stuff a little bit but nothing was too random except for like history but we did you know like merchandise math and regular math actually you know what instead of just telling you guys all of these classes you can actually look into the entire curriculum I believe for every major but I'll have the beauty industry major curriculum linked down below so you can see all of the classes that you would take over the two years 
if you want to know because there was a lot of them so all beauty classes start your second year so that's like that was the hardest part kind of like getting through the first year it was only three quarters though you can finish this program in 18 months just depending on when you take it I finished it in, le in less than two years classes were pretty much like my size in high school they yeah they were pretty small I would say I would have like under 20 students in some of my classes maximum maybe like 32 in a class so pretty small I would say you're not having any huge classes the classrooms are kind of tiny as for the teachers I would say it just depends I mean I had a few teachers that were absolutely awesome and I feel like I learned so much and then I did have you know some teachers that I didn't really like and I didn't feel like I was learning a lot so I mean that's just kind of it depends because you're gonna have so many teachers and just take advantage of the really good ones and also just you know try your best what is cool about FITM is a lot of your teachers, once you get to your major classes, come from straight in the industry. So they're like teaching your class after a day of work in the industry or something, which is very cool. A lot of my teachers worked for cosmetic brands or helped develop products or were like cosmetic chemists or cool stuff like that. Ah, this video is getting so long, I didn't mean to talk so much. But as for the FITM workload, personally for me, my major, my workload, it was very doable. I definitely got really stressed at times and kind of had to put like YouTube on the back, on the side for like a year and a half. But that was really just because I was dedicating a lot of time and school just, you know, school just takes up your time. But honestly though, you guys, compared to so many like other schools and insane classes that you could be taking, FITM is not that hard. It gets a little bit difficult at midterm and finals time because you have everything all together at that five week mark and that 10 week mark. That's when you're gonna have midterms and projects and finals and all of that. So that's when I would get stressed. But other than that, definitely very manageable. You could totally manage it with working a job. I managed it with YouTube and traveling and all that. And also you can make your schedule pretty flexible. You could go to school like two days a week possibly if you wanted to. That's what I I did um, I would go like two or three days a week so it really doesn't take up too much of your time if you don't want it to since FITM is so expensive you want to make sure you take advantage of everything that you're given when you're there so really listen in your classes take notes take the textbooks that you have and like read them I mean I didn't really read my textbooks but I'm gonna keep all of my beauty textbooks that I did get at least for the information we had a lot of guest speakers take advantage of what they say and networking with your teachers and your students and go to the library and the annex the FITM annex is where you can go and use the computers and use the computer programs and just basically get work done it's like it's like a library but not in the school and I would go there all the time if this goes for any school just use all of your resources that you can because once you graduate you don't really have access to those resources anymore another thing to know about FITM is we did tons and tons of group projects group stuff in general and also I would say just projects in general most of them were group but so many projects powerpoints presentations so you got to make sure like if you're scared of that stuff you're gonna get you're gonna get good at it and you're gonna have to do it all the time you're gonna be presenting in groups you're gonna be presenting alone like 10 or 20 minute presentations I mean don't let that you know stress you out I'm just warning you that that is a lot of what we did that was like the gist of basically every project and you know there might be a written part with that but yeah so lots of presenting so I think I got I think FITM totally improved my like speaking skills and my presentation skills we actually had to take a effective speaking class too and that helped a little bit so yeah you might get you'll probably get good at that as for where your degree can take you like I said you could get an associate's degree which is I say what most people that go to FITM do a few people will go on and get their bachelor's or get it at another school or something and I am considering that but for right now I'm happy with the knowledge and the degree that I have your degree is just really up to you I mean it's all about you going out and seeking the opportunities if you want to seek them you know what I mean like right now I'm not trying to go out and get a job in the industry but if I was I would be trying really really hard at that and I believe that my degree could help me get that because 
I took all those classes and I have all of that knowledge now, you know? So it's just like um, an education and a degree is never wasted. I'm not planning on not doing anything with mine. It's just like right now I'm not seeking a full-time job in the beauty industry right now. I'm super, super happy with what I'm doing. But um, for me, I more just really wanted to get all of that knowledge and have like the college experience while well, the fit and experience that I had. So your degree can definitely take you far. For some jobs, you still definitely need a bachelor's degree. So that's something that's like not so good about FITM, but you know, like I definitely think in certain situations your associate's degree could get you hired for the job that you wanted to and in others, if a bachelor's is required, you know, you can go to another school or you can get that at FITM. You can get that degree if you really, really do need it. If you're wondering, should I go to college or should I go to FITM or Lindsay, like why did you choose FITM? I definitely think that most people should try out college for sure. I do believe that, you know, the whole experience of it is not for everyone, but I really, really believe in trying and giving it a fair chance because as I said, like in education and just what you gain from meeting the people that you do, being in college and all the experience that you get, you can't get that not not doing it you know what i mean it's not so much about like all the information you're learning it's more so about the experience of it all and like what you can take with you later in life so i definitely think give college at least a semester if you are like i'm not sure if college is for me and definitely don't let anyone besides you influence your major because that is so important you don't want to be stuck doing something that you're just not interested in and that your parents made you do like you need to be doing what you want what major calls out to you that's what you need to be doing and keep in mind if you don't like the major that you pick you can always change majors so don't let yourself get super stressed out i would say FITM is good because it's so specialized and so focused and you start your major classes you know within the first year or two as compared to so many other colleges where you're not going to start those till your third year and what if you get to your third year and you realize that's not the major you want to do so i do think if you want to just kind of dive more into your major and have like a bit of a shorter more quick specialized like done out of here college experience then definitely look into FITM. However, FITM is an expensive school and there are other options to choose from. I'm not saying it's like the only place to go for a specialized education. Definitely look into cheaper local colleges, you know, just look at all of your options. Now, why did I personally choose FITM and would I recommend it? FITM is the only school that I found that allowed me to go straight from high school into a program straight away learning about the beauty business that I could get a degree in as well. So that is why I chose it. And would I recommend FITM? I would say yes if it's the type of school that you're looking for. So the type of student that I think will succeed at FITM, you are gonna have to be or learn to be very, very independent. But everyone is so creative, everyone's super inspiring, and I definitely think it was a good school to go to for me, and I'm so glad that I went. Like, I will never, ever regret, I don't think, my decision to go to and stay in college because it didn't take that long you know like you don't have to go to college for four or five years if you don't want to you can go to a smaller shorter school and get an associate's degree and always go back if you need to i think i would recommend it but take everything that i said in this video into consideration and do your own research on majors that you're interested in and other schools and just go guys where you think you're genuinely going to be happiest doing what you are interested in. Okay, that was the longest video ever, but I hope I answered most of you guys' questions. If you have more questions, feel free to comment below on this video or to tweet me any burning questions that you have about FITM or college. Now, I also have a ton of other FITM videos from like the first quarter, my second quarter. I did one after my first year and then I might have one. I think I have like four or five. If you wanna see my FITM experience videos that I talk about like the classes I was taking and how I was adjusting, I will link all of those in the description box. Definitely check them out if you want more on this topic. And um, if you guys want me to do a video more in depth of my major, I have projects and stuff 
under my bed where I can do another video if you guys want just specifically more about my major, what you're learning and all of the projects and everything like that. So if you want another one, let me know if you need if you need more or maybe this was totally enough and good. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I really hope you enjoyed it and I just love you guys and I hope you have an amazing day or night and that this was helpful and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys!